Hi everyone, this is just a quick video going over some of the effects and transitions that you can do with ScreenFlow while you're editing your screencast. So let's get started. Uh, I've already created an example screen, uh, screencast here that I'm going to be using to edit. And I've created a video and I want the video to start out in full screen mode and then disappear while I'm doing the screencast. Um, so to do this, really simple, I'm just going to take this I'm going to resize and I'm going to hold shift so that it keeps uh, the dimensions correct. I'm just going to move this until you can see me. So now if I go, you see that it's playing the video of me full screen. Well, obviously I don't want the video of me full screen the whole time. So I'm going to go to about 14 seconds in and I'm going to click add video action. Now Anything that I do after this is going gonna, is gonna to be a result of that action. So if I scroll this back down and I move it out of the way, if I see what that looks like now, pretty slick, huh? So if I were to add another action right after saying scale this back up, we'll see what this looks like. Okay, now obviously we don't want to do that, but I'm just kind of trying to give you an idea of what you can do. So now I'm actually starting to do things with my mouse, and I don't want to, I don't want the window to be full screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to the screen recording, click that, and I'm going to add a video action on this timeline, and I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to scroll in, and I'm going to move the window exactly where I want uh, I want it to be zoomed to. Now you can do this by dragging these uh, and holding shift but I found an even easier way is just scrolling with your mouse and ScreenFlow does a really good job of of kinda of just deciding how things should work for you and it looks really professional so let's let's see what this looks like now. We have a full screen video jumps out of the way and then it zooms in. Pretty neat right? Okay, now we're doing something with our mouse, and I want to highlight that you have to hold it there for a second in order to add items to your Finder toolbar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to go to Callout Action. I'll make sure this is selected. I'm going to add a callout. As you can see, it darkened everything around my mouse, and I can change all these settings, uh, change the opacity of everything around it. I can blur the background, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to zoom up and you can even actually make it a little bit bigger. So now let's see what this looks like. So I didn't actually want the call out to be that long so I'm going to scroll it back be a little bit longer. Now I want to do the same thing with this one, so I'm going to go where I want the action or the call out, and make sure that this is that the screen recording timeline is selected. Go add call out. Okay, and like the other one, I don't want it quite as long, so I'm going to adjust that. Still a little bit too long. Now, if I wanted to zoom back out, I would go back to video prop or video properties and add a video action. And I would just zoom back out to full screen. Let's see what that looks like. So you can see the transactions just look extremely professional and they're super easy to do. Uh, one of my favorite ones, which I haven't used yet, is the Y rotation and reflection. And to do this, Let's just scroll down here and uh, we'll say add video action here. Now with the Y rotation, I'm just going to kind of turn it so it's on the side and I'm going to scroll out a little bit and I'm going to add a reflection. As you can see, it, add, it adds a reflection under the image and you can change 
the opacity of that. And then say I wanted to bring my video of me back in. Um, let's actually drag this down here towards the end. That's another really cool thing about actions is you can drag them wherever you want. Okay, so now I take my video and I'm going to do the same thing with my video. I'm going to rotate it, make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to add a reflection. So let's see. Oops, I forgot to add the video action before I started doing this. So one thing that I also really like about ScreenFlow is it has an unlimited uh, undo list. So you can undo your, all of your items back to where you started. So I'm going to undo this so that I don't have to go back and change it here. Just keep undoing back to where it was off screen. Okay, so now I'm going to add video action and now I can go and size it up, and I'm going to rotate it again. And then add the reflection. Now let's see what this looks like. So now, let's say I want to move this one out of frame, so I'm going to add another video action. Just move it off frame. And then I want to make this full screen, so I'm going to add video action up here change this back to zero and make it full screen again. So now let's see what the final product of this is. As you can see it's just super super easy to edit and add transitions and callouts and actions to your video. Um, let's say we don't want this part of the video, so we're going to shift and drag. And we hit command delete and it deletes it. Now let's add a Mac Tips outro on this. So we're going to add media. And where is it? Drag it on here. Same thing with video files. I'm just going to make it bigger, not quite as big. And we're good to go. Now to, to save this, we're just going to file, file, at, if I can do it, file, export. I'm going to save this to the desktop as screenflowdemo.mov. Uh, we'll leave it like that. And do export. And down here, you'll just see it's exporting your movie. And, and in a couple minutes, depending on this, you'll have a brand new file with your exported movie. Hope you liked it. Thanks. Also, I've contacted the makers of ScreenFlow, uh, Vera Software, and they've graciously allowed me to give away one free copy of ScreenFlow to a lucky MacTips user. So to be eligible for the free giveaway, you have to enter your email address in a comment on the review. So you don't actually have to enter your email address in the comment field, but there's an email field on the comments, and make sure that you include that so that I actually have a way of contacting you. So I'll be doing that in a couple days, so make sure you enter and you could win. The software is priced at $99, so you'd be very lucky to receive a free copy. Thanks!